My name is Nick DiCiera, and I am a metal worker, a metal artist. If you prefer, I'm a fabricator. I build stuff. I'm not one of the big guys. I'm not even one of the big welding shops. I'm tiny. I'm like, I rent 250 square feet in the corner of a motorcycle shop. This place is, uh, it's pretty special. How did it start? I don't know. It's, it's, it's just me. I, I just wanted to make some stuff on my own. I wanted to express myself and make, create some things, sell some things, make some money. You know, it's, it's, it's not, I mean, you can't be ashamed. Like if you're an artist that you, you, you want to make money, you know, you don't have to starve. This is, this is what I have. I didn't go to college. I didn't do that stuff. I had to, after school, I had to go and I had to work and I, I went into the trades. So, I mean, if you're an artist and you're in the trades, it's kind of like, it can be a really rough place. I, I gravitated towards metalworking because there's some creativity there. I mean, this is what I have to elevate me. I'm, I'm making chairs and the stuff that I'm making now is, is, you know, it's, you know, form and function. And like, I'm trying to make practical stuff. Some of the materials I use are just things that I find on the street. And I think there's definitely some value in that. Wood that I found on the side of the road, you know, a, a flag that I found, you know, sticking out of the, the flag return box. If I don't have enough money to buy a piece of wood, I'll pick a piece of wood up off, off you know, the street and build it into something beautiful. And I don't think I think even if I had the money to buy the wood, I might keep doing that because that's a lot more creative. I, I think that there is value in, 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 in the creativity in, in making things out of, out of, you know, something you found or something that like had no purpose. It was totally forgotten. It was just a piece of trash. Some things are more beautiful when they're rough around the edges. Why are things more beautiful when they're rough around the edges? Because because you know, we live in a rough world. Everything has rough edges. We have rough edges. Making this stuff is not easy. I mean, it's it's late nights, it's weekends. It's um grinding. It's smoke. It's, you know, it's a lot of sweat. It's a lot of sanding, it's a lot of imperfections. The reward that I get from, from doing this stuff, it's more a pride that, you know, this stuff exists out there. It's in somebody's house. Somebody appreciates me. Somebody appreciates the work that I've done and all the skills that I've acquired over the years, which are put into it. Even if it's a simple piece, you know, it still shows. I feel that it shows.